I'm pretty sure I've made videos on this before, but my interest has kind of been reignited uh, because there's been a whole bunch of videos showing up on YouTube of people taking Geiger counters down to parts of uh, the California coast and, and seeing a 500% or more uh, increase in the background radiation which is thought to be from uh, water making its way over here from Fukushima. This is a scintillation counter. This does not use a Geiger tube. This uses a scintillation crystal and the way this works is when radiation hits the crystal uh, it creates little sparks of light and they could be in the I guess in the infrared or ultraviolet or visible spectrum and then there's a photomultiplier tube behind that that picks those up and converts them into to pulses that you hear as the little static when the little flashes of light hit it. This is a uh, an ore master. This is actually made, designed to look for uranium ore in the ground. So this is super sensitive when it works right. This is old. This is probably 50s or 60s. It's vacuum tube. And I'd like to get this working and take it down to the beach and just do some comparisons to you know different areas. Take it when I go exploring mines and that and see what what kind of different background radiations we get. So we'll pop it open and have a look. So in a way this is like your one volt tube battery operated radio. You got your A and B batteries. This of course is supposed to be 90 volts and someone's got they got I think 10 9 volts in here. There's five five on this side and then five on the other side and then you've got your D cells um, for the filaments and we've got a nice stack of dry electrolytics here looks like there's uh, six of those and this is a replacement battery I I bought this at the ham fest with all these batteries in it and they're all kind of weak. This was one of those 9 volt looking looking batteries I think is actually 12 or 16 volts. It looks like a 9 volt battery but it's got the the uh, connectors on each side not on one side and someone made made this I believe it's two six volt cells that they shrink wrap together which is a pretty cool idea but it's weak too and here's the photomultiplier tube and here's a scintillation crystal right here now I came up with an idea to test the scintillation crystal which is to remove it to see what it takes to remove it and take a look at it through my night vision because the night vision should allow me to see the same thing that the photomultiplier tube here sees which is the pulses of light um, I gotta figure out how to looks like it's just maybe put together with electrical tape um, inside one of these cans is a bunch of one volt tubes like your 1U4s, your 3V4s I think it's inside this can right here there's a bunch of those uh, one volt tubes disassembling this I can't believe this is factory all wrapped with a ton of electrical tape and uh, here are the tubes right here. 
that are inside this shielded can. Okay, I'm down one more layer on it. Um, now we have aluminum foil, which I'm sure that was factory. Uh, this metal shield was on there, and then this, and then this. This is when you start getting to the point where you realize I shouldn't have taken this apart. Um, layer of aluminum foil for what I don't know and then like a layer of grease then another layer of tape and then I think I'll be to the tube. Oh boy look at this it's an RCA 6199 Pretty interesting looking tube and I think we're down to the final layer of tape to get this scintillation crystal off of here. Okay, we have some kind of nasty coupling goo in here. Now I don't see how this crystal could go bad. There's no way this could get moisture in it at all. But what I want to do is look at that thing with the uh, night vision glasses and um, I have a another Geiger counter that has a, a little radioactive sample on the side of it and see if we get any flashing. I guess what I need to do is I need to um, put this in a plastic bag or something. I have to keep this perfectly clean. Okay, here's the whatever I'm calling that thing, the scintillation crystal. And here's a civil defense Geiger counter and it's got a little uh, radiation emitting thing there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this with the night vision into the bathroom because it's totally dark and we'll see if we see any little flashes of light in here. Okay, absolutely nothing. There's absolutely nothing. I'm I'm looking at it through the night vision. Like, let me get a different camera and I'll try and show. Okay, now keep in mind it is totally, totally dark in this bathroom. And there's no way I don't see how there's any way that these um, these new Generation 3 photo multiplier tube would not pick up uh, flashes from that. So I'm going to say that scintillation crystal's dead. Now there is there is someone in New Mexico who restores these. I'm going to shoot him an email and see what he thinks. See if he can restore it. give you an idea of how sensitive these are to ultraviolet and infrared light. Here's the direct TV remote. That's the shower. to manually focus it, but there it is.
Absolutely nothing. So that crystal's dead. Let's see if we could get some video down inside this photomultiplier tube. And you can see the cathode down there that will I think that's what that is Pretty cool. I had an idea of how to test the unit. Uh, I've got the scintillation crystal off and I'm going to try the reverse of the, uh, the night vision. I'm going to turn the light off in here, turn this thing on, and I'm going to shine the remote into the front of here and see if we hear anything. I can figure out how to turn it on. I hear noise from the speaker. This thing seems kind of alive, but there's no, uh, nothing from the remote. All these batteries are checking good, and this thing right here is checking 23 volts. So I have a feeling that's two tw 12s. Um, I don't know, the amplifier part of this seems very awake, but I, I would really think I would hear something from this. I mean, this is just like what's in the, the uh, 1077 Analyst, and it it's a, runs on an ultraviolet CRT, and this is an ultraviolet LED, and it's strobing, so I would think I would hear something like tick, 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 like you saw the flashing in the uh, previous clip. So I'm going to have to do some more research here. Um, I'm not going to condemn this scintillation crystal yet, although I I don't see why I wouldn't see the strobing in it with the night vision glasses that this sees. So, And somebody told me that those do go bad over time. So eh, more research needed. All right, let's try my theory. Since this is all experimental, this is a 1077, and it uses the, I think it's the same thing. It's basically a photo multiplier tube, and it uses an ultraviolet CRT there to, to this is old school, to show that, that image broadcast that image into the front of this thing and this is how it works and you can you could put different slides in here different pictures or whatever um, so let's power this up so there's the ultraviolet right there and then here's I didn't tune it in or anything, but here's the uh, 
thing fed into a TV. So I'm gonna point that remote in there and see see if we what we get. Alright, so here's the remote. I'm gonna point the remote down in there. Absolutely nothing? Really? Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. Let me do this. Let me black out CRT. Yeah, we'll slide this advertisement for Obamacare down here in front of it. There we go. Well, I'm not seeing anything there. So, I'm going to have to assume that this is not a valid test. Yeah, I think I might have found a winner here. Here's our strobing LED that I used uh, for the turntable speed. I would say it picks that up very effectively. Okay, so now to try this with the um, the Geiger counter. I just happened to plug this into eBay, and these things are these scintillators are look very common. that one there that one looks like the base on mine $349 silicone optical coupling grease for photo multiplier scintillation detector barium fluoride optical crystal lens Looks like you could buy the whole thing for 225 bucks, a more modern one. Radiation detector. NAJ. Sodium something, is that a periodic table breakdown? Is that what that is? $147. Scintillation detector optical coupling grease. This looks pretty close. Oh, I see. It's got a. This whole thing here is the scintillator, and this is the photomultiplier tube. Yeah, large area. That's an understatement. That looks pretty close to what I've got. Only $349. See, this looks like mine right here. This thing. Bargain price of $312. There's five pages of it. This is probably like old Cold War era surplus, and who knows if it's any good. 